Hello, I am Casey Adele, and welcome to our show. We will be covering sports, community events, weather, and traffic. This is the season for the annual winter showcase to come to town at JS Creative Academy, 17th and 18th of December. So I hope you stop by this month for some Christmas spirit. RSVP at jdscreativeacademy.org. Now, let's start the show. First up is Mitchell with sports. Let's see how the local teams are doing. Thank you, Casey. And hello, everyone. My name is Mitchell is, and I am here to give your sports report on December 6th. The Hammond High School boys soccer team will travel to LA Kin to, to base the LA Kin Tin Hawk Blackhawks games. Time is 5.15. This will be the only meeting between these two teams this season. On December 5th, Lake Elsinore High School varsity boys base basketball team will face Cardinals High School in Riverside. Key won the tournament at Roman High School. Tip off is at 5.30. Good luck to our local team taking the field and courts this week. And that's all I have for sports. My name is Mitchell and back to you, Casey. Thanks, Mitchell. Now here is Tyler with the weather. Is it time to wear warmer clothes? Thank you, Casey. Let's see what Mother Nature has in store. In the southwest counties, expect a cloudy weekend with Sunday showers. A mostly sunny week will finish off with a cloudy Friday. Temperature-wise, the highs the entire week will hover in the low to mid-60s, while the lows will drop and hover in the upper 30s to lower 40s. In the central counties, you can also expect a cloudy weekend with Sunday showers. Another mostly sunny week in central Riverside County will end on a cloudy Friday. High temperatures will warm up only a bit throughout the week from the low 60s on Sunday to the mid 60s by the end of the week. The lows will stay chilly ranging from the upper 30s to mid 40s for most of the week. In the desert communities, expect a mixture of cloudy and sunny days throughout the week. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 60s for most of the week with the exception being this Saturday with a high of 72. The lows will range from the mid 40s to the lower 50s. All in all, it's starting to get cooler and you should keep a light jacket or sweater on hand. Stay safe and stay warm. Back to you, Casey. Thanks, Tyler, for the weather update. Next up is Matt with community events. Are there any interesting events this week? Casey. Hi, I am Matt Sealbinder, and I have some cool things to show you in this episode. In Temecula at the Old Town Community Theater, Charles Dickens' classic story, A Christmas Carol, will be presented by the Temecula Valley Players. This has been a tradition for the local theater. And they are back again. You can check out their have evening shows at 7.30 p.m. 
and matinees at 2 p.m. on December 2nd and the 11th. Please check out ticket, office, pricing, dates, and times. The Fox Performing Art Theater in Riverside will be hosting, presenting of the Nutcracker this holiday season. The fan's favorite ballet will open on December 17th with two shows each on Saturday and Sunday, December 18th. Only two days to two days to go see it before time runs out. We hope you enjoy this holiday festivities. The Polar Express train ride has returned to the Southern California Railway Museum in Paris. Going on now through December 28th. This has become somewhat a holiday tradition for the museum based on the sights and sounds of the 2004 film. Train passengers will be able to ex experience the wonders of magic. The movie brought to so many people around the world. The hour long train ride will feature delicious streets, music, dancing, and of course, Santa Claus himself. I'm your community events reporter, Matt Sealbinder. Back to you, Casey. Thanks, Matt. Now here's Karina with Road Condition, letting us know where the detours are. Thank you, Casey. Here's what is happening in Road Conditions. Ongoing pavement rehabilitation is happening in different parts of Temecula on Inez Road, Cullinan Way, Nicholas Road, and Winchester Road. The road work will involve grinding down worn pavement to replace with new pavement and upgrading concrete ADA access ramps. Various lane closures will happen during the day and night, Sunday through Friday. These times will be from 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., then 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Some work will occur on Saturdays. Completion is expected end of January 2023. Also in Temecula, additional pavement road work will be happening in the communities of Meadowview and Paloma del Sol. The interior streets will be worked on in Meadowview. Paloma del Sol affected areas include Armenia Way, M Miralago Way, Santiago Road, and Via Remy. Work hours are Monday through Friday, 7 a.m. to 4.30 p.m., and the project should be completed by the end of December. As a friendly reminder, Santa's Electric Light Parade is coming through Old Town Temecula tonight. Jefferson Avenue will be closed from 4 to 11 p.m. Drive safely, everyone. That does it for road conditions. I am Karina. Now back to Casey. Thanks, Karina. Well, that's it for our show for this week. Thanks for watching. If you want more, be sure to follow us on social media at hashtag JDSFamily, YouTube at SY underscore news, and on Facebook. I'm Casey Adele. SY out.